Hey everybody, Ricky Timms here, and right there next to me is my good friend, Miss Pam Holland, and she is coming to us all the way Hi. from Adelaide, down in Australia. That's Absolutely. in the, as that's in Victoria, yes. <laughs> South Australia. Oh, it's in South Australia, South Australia. dead gum. I don't know my province is down there like I should, so I pro I apologize. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Right. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put up no a problems. map. I'm gonna put up a map so everybody sees where that is. Okay. So um, my first yes. my first sure, sure. my first message to everybody is going to just be wishing you all the best. Stay safe. Stay sane. Stay healthy. Um, we are all facing challenging times, and I'm just really thankful that we have a bit of an outlet so that we can join each other and do some things. But I just, I do want you to know that, that, I mean, I feel the impact, you feel the impact, and we're all gonna work through this together. So God bless you all. And Pam, uh, tell us what you've been up to. <laughs> well, I was supposed to be in India right now. And uh, then there were some wonderful trips coming up, like Morocco and uh, Silama and all of those, and all of that's been cancelled now, of course. And I, I just missed it by about eight hours. So, had I been on the plane, it would have been I wouldn't have been able to get back to Australia. So, it's given me more time to be creative. And I had already started uh, this picture of Ricky last year and um, I just, I finished another quilt and then I decided to finish this one. So. Well, and I am, I, I mean, the, <laughs> I, I am so humbled by, by having a portrait done and, uh, and it's a very unique technique. So you might want to just go through the process. I think you start with a photograph. Is that true? Where did the photograph come from? Well, you came down to our event in Alamogordo and when you were up on stage, I took this photo. Well, I took a lot of photos, um, but I took this photo and I really liked it because I love the shadows, I love the shading and um, I do a lot of portraits in, in cheesecloth, plain old cheesecloth and uh, I thought this would be a good subject. So. Um, but simply because the, the angles of the photo and and the, the way the light was coming on because it was stage lighting and because that's relevant to you, so yeah. Yes. So now, just so you know, the audience is not yet getting to see it. They see my shoulder. So is there a way to? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we now to reveal what you're looking at over there. I don't know if you need to bring it. Can you move it? On is it on an easel? Can you move it towards you? Yeah, you, yeah you there we it? go. There, yeah. perfect. That's perfect, right? There. Yes. <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> I'll have to go around the other side. Hang on. There we go. Okay, but now you got to... Yes. Yeah, so no, can you see it okay? Yeah, but now we can't see you, so scoot over. Just move it over. Oh. Oh. There you are. Perfect. How's that? That's there. good. Um, okay. they're, they're missing my nose. That's right. all they're missing now. Your nose? Yeah, my nose. Yeah. Yeah, come, come just, right, boom, boom. Can you manage that? Can you manage yeah, I can do that? Okay, I'm all right. Yes. All right. So, yeah. so, that's cheesecloth on black fabric or black felt or what? Mm. No, black fabric, just plain black cotton. Uh, and then it's cheesecloth, lots and lots, hundreds of little tiny mini pieces of cheesecloth. And I use four braids, four braids of cheesecloth. Um, 90, 50, 20, and a 10 grade. And you might have not have known that you can get different grades of cheesecloth. No, I'm clueless. But let me show you. Let me show you. I didn't actually stick this down, but yeah. Let me see if you can, I can put this up so you can see. Can you see that there? Yes. Wow. Can you see that there? Yes. This is number 10. So you can see through it, right? This is number 20, and it's a, it's a little more dense, 
This one's more dense, and then this is the one I use for the background here for, for your, the shirt. So this is the one I use mainly, but the shading, because when I want the shading to come through, I'm going to use the one that's quite open. You know, so it's, it's four different sorts. Of for, if I was a if I was a person, yeah. I mean, I've seen your work up close, and because um, we're looking at it on this screen, um, it looks just like a, a almost like a black and white photograph. It's it's almost impossible to comprehend yeah. that that is cheesecloth. So so tell me how you stick well, it down. Well, I have shaded it. Hmm? How do oh, I stick it down? Yeah, how do you stitch it? How do you? What do you do to keep it in place? Well, it's it's fused down, just a little fusing at the moment. Um, I have stitched this bit. You can't even tell that it's stitched, and um, I'll be stitching it as if I'm going to draw. I want this to look like a black and white drawing, basically. So. I'm stitching it with five different shades of grey, black and white, sometimes off-white. Um, not quite sure how I'll do this bit yet, but but I will now just stitch all over and enhance it as if I'm drawing. Like, this, this is a drawing, okay? So this is just stitching on fabric. Can you bring that a little closer? So close? basically, Can I'm going to... Br bring that just yeah, a little closer sure. to the camera for a second so we can see it up yeah that's good oh wow that? right so that's yeah. a drawing okay so that, that's that's just drawing on fabric and then i'm going to do th that over here but not as intensely now when you say drawing you mean drawing with thread yeah, mm -hmm. yes. I'm using um, black thread, 50 weight, and uh, free motion sewing. So um, I don't drop the feed dogs, it gives me more control. And so I'm actually stitching as if I'm drawing. Yeah, it's exactly the same as drawing, except I'm just doing this instead of, uh, the other, instead, instead of doing it with my hand. Yeah. All right, so I have another question. I see what looks like safety pins in the fabric what are they holding yeah oh well that's because of three layers so this is this is just holding the whole thing together I basically, see. basically. So, so it's just pinned ready to stitch it all yeah. right so you've done the cheesecloth layer and now you're getting ready to do all the stitching yeah. through all three layers of the quilt oh yeah. that's crazy yes so, so here's is the this is the back so there's a uh, warm and natural in between there, ready to go. So now I stitch through the three layers because I'm quilting it and I'm appliquing it down at the same time. Wow. So, yeah, so I get so that. So I haven't, I'm not, I'm not just, obviously, um, it's falling off. Hang on, let me fix it. It's falling down. While you're fixing it, let me ask you, what do you think the most difficult part of this particular portrait has been? Would it be the face or the beard or what? The hands. The well, hands. I really wanted to get the hands. The hands. Yeah. Here they are, everybody. There's and the um, I work. <laughs> you hold your hands like that a lot. You might not know that, yeah. but when you're talking on stage, that's how you hold your hands. <laughs> and so I thought it was an integral part of the of the of the portrait. Yeah. Well, and I so think, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. There's all the layers okay. there, and okay. then once I put it down, then I dye the fabric with pigment ink. Okay, see this pen? Can you see this pen? Yes. It's a bit hard for you to see. What's the name? <laughs> I don't know what you're seeing. Yeah, <laughs> but what's the name this of it? This is a super different. It's a Fabrico pigment ink pen. Okay. So I'm dyeing. Sometimes, so this is, remember I said to you, number 10 is, you can see through yes, the most, yes. number 10. Right. So if I put number 10, I will always put number 10 where I've got to do the shading. So I've got to put number 10 here so that it's the reverse of any, of doing another, port, a different portrait. Because where the shadows are, 
we're going to have number 10. So where the depth is, it gives me the depth. And then I shade it just a little, not much, just a little with the pen. And it dyes it because it's ink, not paint. I don't use paint on here. Right. So it dyes it, yeah. Wow. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. Uh, the beard was too much. It wasn't? So, you know, to be able to do it, I have, I have your picture. Where did I put it? Oh, here. I have to go around the back. Okay. I think this is fascinating. Uh, I mean, Can you see this? Uh, I'll go to the other side, please. There we are. Oh, wow. So, I've taken the, your photo, and then I create an image, a high-definition image. So I make it... I bring out the bring out all the because bring out all the shading because this is was all black, but I needed these pieces. So when I put it on the on, on the um, computer, I made it a high defin definition, and I really intensified the lines. That's so pretty much, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Look at it there. It's exactly the same. That's crazy. Yeah. So, so the first bit I did was the nose. Okay. And I'm going to a tracing from this onto a piece of, this is, this is not the same one, but it's a piece of vellum. Okay. And once I've done it all there, then I make a piece um, of... Uh, I get a piece of fabric. This one is the brightest one I need, so I'm the, the heaviest one, and it's number uh, it's number ninety, grade ninety. 90. 90 wow. So I put that down, and I work all the shading around there. I put a little fusible web on the back just to hold it. You can use um, steamer seam, light, or any of those, any of those. I just, Misty fuse, I just learned that I can do something. I'm going to make me go away. So it's all you now, baby. Uh, just so you know, I'm disappeared. Oh. I got all of you now. That's I didn't know I had that ability. So yay. That's great. I just oh. think it's, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, do okay. you teach this? Do you teach this class? Do you teach this technique yet? Yeah, I do. Um, I've taught this at Houston for years, um, and I do it in a one-day class. It really needs to be two, I think, now. And um, sometimes I do five-day classes. Uh, and then if we do a five-day class, you can do a whole portrait like this, yeah. Absolutely. It, it's, it's, it's challenging it um, because you're looking at things differently, but it makes people look at the detail, yeah. Do you have an idea of about how long it will now take to actually get to the finish line on this? Mm, about a week. Wow. A week now. Wow. So, so now I'm quilting it. This will all be uh, quilted. I can probably do the face in a day, all of this probably in a couple of days. And the hands I will spend a lot of time on. Uh, and then I'll just do the background, yeah. And I'll, I'm just doing horizontal lines because I really want this to stand out. Yeah. All right. So uh, nothing but, fancy. Nothing. Uh, yes. No, uh, no, no uh, feathers and fans. Yeah. And then, do you face? I really the, want it to stand out. And do you use a facing or do you a, do you use a facing or a binding at the end? I was trying to work that out. Um, I want people to see the back. So I'm going to have to just bind it because I want. I think back is 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 as important as the front. Right. So you actually will see the entire thing on the back sketched in black and grey and white thread. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Thank you, thank you for sharing all of that. Again, I'm I'm very uh, humbled and honored to be the subject, but it's it's amazing technique, and I know that everybody's as amazed as I am. By and and do you do many of them that large? Because that's a large piece, really. Usually, there's this is the biggest one. Um, this 
Do you have Usually any? they're smaller because, you know, Ricky, most of them are teaching samples. So yeah. this one was, this is a little bigger. Oh, I mean, this wow. is this one of a lady I met in Guatemala. Oh, look at so, that. So, and this is a little different. So she's, she's just coming outside of there. Yeah. And um, I've used I've used cheesecloth in the background and extra color on here. Oh, yeah. It's fabulous. So it's it's fun. I love doing it. I really do because you're really molding the cheesecloth at times. Even when I'm sewing, I can pull it down and mold the cheesecloth so that it fits. I'm really painting with fabric, yeah. basically. Do you, yeah. do you ever like pleat it? Or that makes sense. Do you, ever, oh, says, do you ever like pleat it or fold it or yeah, layer I mean, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I have a little bit on on some of these on the shirt, and I like. I like the the roughness to show through. You you can't see that here, but there's you know there it's quite rough on the edges in some places. So if I'm here, if you look at her hair, I just laid it on and then twisted it with my finger. Oh, that's to get yeah. Her, the way that's her hair fabulous. should be. Yeah, that's fabulous. So it's, if you can manipulate it, yeah, you can manipulate it. Yeah. So well, it's very different. I'm going to remind everybody that you've been a guest on The Quilt Show, and I'm putting the number of the show down. While uh, while this was fun, you can go look at other things that Pam's done. And Pam, if they wanted to find you, uh, you're on Facebook, but do you, you have a blog or a website that they could come to? I have a, web, I have a website too, yes. I, I don't do it as much as I should, but I do have a website. And there's lots of things up there too, and, and some of these techniques. And I don't know if you remember, but we did this technique when I was doing doing the shows with you. Okay. Uh, we did uh, this one. This guy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So yes, we did yes. this, and it's in your book. Yeah. Yes. You remember that? Yes. Yeah. Which, Which was, was... It was a uh, long time ago, I will say that. I know, but you have all the instructions on how to do it. So, yes. so you can do one too. This is his photo. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's fabulous. Yes, yes, the turban, yes. Lots of fun, lots of fun. And in these, in these times we need to invent a few more things. And um, for me this is great because no one does it the same way that I do it. So and there's another lady who does cheesecloth portraits. Sure. It's very different. To the way that I do it, and, and I think that's a good thing about quilting, isn't it? That we can develop our own ideas. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, Pam, Super. tell tell me, tell everybody how you're doing through all of this. How are you managing? Well, I mean, like everybody else, we're all trying to be positive. Um, it's really hard. I mean, I, I, at times, you know, you wake up in the morning and you think, oh, my goodness, it's still here. It's still there. It's not going away. And it, it's hard to, to, to fathom. We are not uh, in lockdown like some of you are in America. I know my children in, in Colorado. Um, in in um, where are they? I forget where they are. <laughs> in Colorado. Durango. My kids who live in Durango. You know, they're now gone into lockdown, and <clears throat> it's very hard. We're not at that stage, but we may get to that stage. So I'm just very grateful that I'm home, that I didn't get stuck overseas, and um, we've <clears throat> shut all the borders down here. So yeah. I might not have been able to get home, so I'm just very grateful for that. And, um, you know, I'm just going to work at home now. I get, can get back to the bayer. I can oh, get back yes. to the bay and stop traveling. Sure, <laughs> sure. So for those of yeah. you that don't know, Pam is doing a reconstruction of the Bayou Tapestry. If you don't know what that is, check it out online. It's an amazing project. And uh, and I'm going to say <laughs> to you as well, uh, yeah. give, give your husband, Keith, my love. Uh, love to you. Love to all of our good quilting friends down under. Thank and, you. And to anyone who's taken the time to watch our little uh, conversation today. God bless you all, and thanks, thanks for watching.